What's going on, Colts Nation? I'm Lawrence Owen. This is Colts Law, and we're going to talk about, wow, huge news. Sam Ellinger goes from practice squad quarterback, third string, to backup, and now the starter for the rest of the 2022 NFL season for the Indianapolis Colts. Because, well, let's, let's face it, all right? The Indianapolis Colts have done something that the Atlanta Falcons couldn't do for 14 years, and that's keep Matt Ryan from having a major injury with protection from the O-line. This is freaking crazy, okay? He has a grade two shoulder separation. Now, Frank Reich did state that it didn't matter that he had a separated shoulder, that the plan was to go with Sam Ellinger. And that the plan now is to use Sam Ellinger the rest of the season. Uh, I find that hard to believe. I get that he's a second, you know, he has yet to take a snap against, you know, number two or number three defensive players. Right? He's not even taking snaps against backups in his entire career. All right, so here's the thing. What makes you think that he's going to be good against starters? There is the possibility that Sam Mellinger could come out there and absolutely ball out. I don't see it. This is a situation where I feel a little bit uh, upset, okay? There's actual Colts fans out there that are more excited about Sam Ellinger starting at quarterback than any of the wins that the Colts got where they're, you know, 3-3-1. and Three wins when we beat the Broncos, when, you know, we beat the Jaguars, or when we beat the Chiefs. Didn't matter. They're more excited about Sam Ellinger starting. It's a little bit worrisome. Stephen Holder of The Athletic talked about earlier uh, before this information even came out about Sam Ellinger starting. And he said a pretty good thing. The defenses are going to do one of two things. Either A, they are going to blitz Sam Ellinger, play in, play out. And that's not a good sign for, you know, a, a, a young quarterback that's never taken a snap, uh, you know, against starting, starting NFL players. Or they're going to drop back into coverage and force Sam to pick them apart with blanket coverage on the field. Again, he hasn't had a lot of time to sit here and learn the team. Sam has been the number two quarterback for three weeks. This is his third week now. Now he's the number one quarterback. He's taking first team reps. It took how long? For Matt Ryan to gain confidence in a lot of these players like Kylan Granson, Paris Campbell, Alec Pierce, these kind of guys. How long do you expect it's going to take Sam Mellinger to gain confidence in all these guys? Huh? Is it going to be the same old, same old that we saw uh, through the first four or five weeks of the NFL for the Colts season where, you know, he's sitting there patting the ball? And then he's just going to take off for something because, you know, he's scared. Because the offensive line, doesn't matter who's in back there blocking for him, the offensive line's not going to do, you know, worth a darn stopping pass rush for Sam Ellinger. Doesn't matter if it's Matt Ryan or Foles or Sam Ellinger. Pass rush is still going to get there all the same. The one good thing is, This does spell that now Marcus Brady, Frank Reich, they'll be able to run that RPO that they have been praying that they wanted to do back when Wentz was the quarterback, right? They've been wanting to run that since Wentz. But Wentz was, you know, hurt a lot of the the time. (coughs) I don't know, man. I don't know what we're going to do. I think this is the end of the season. If the Colts win two more games, it'll be impressive to me. Uh, I think we end up being, what, 5, 11, and 1 for the season. 
Uh, Sam Ellinger is going to go up against the Washington Commanders this Sunday. And they've got a really good pass rush. Even with Chase not playing, they still have a really, really good pass rush. So I don't think that we're going to do a very good job in this situation. I think we'll probably, like I said, a lot of RPO. Jonathan Taylor averaged 5.8 yards a carry this past week, uh, but only 10 carries. You're going to see a lot more carries for Jonathan Taylor and Naheem Hines. You're going to see more two running back formations, I think, uh, with both running back, two running backs in the backfield with Sam Ellinger so that he can run a lot of option plays. That's the thing. I will say Sam has impressed me this year as opposed to his rookie season. His rookie season, he was not good. He was not good, okay? He was throwing behind people. He had no throwing power. His accuracy was not good. He couldn't get it down the field with any kind of velocity. He couldn't read a defense. So basically, the Colts are going to have to run a lot of the Philadelphia or Baltimore-style offense in order to have any success. The defense is still playing absolutely lights out, right? Uh, So that's a good thing. You know, that will allow us. That means if the Colts could just score 20 points a game, we're going to win some games. But I have a question for you. Do the Colts still win enough? To get into the playoffs this year with Sam Ellinger at quarterback? Or do you think this is a move by Frank Reich to basically give up on the season since he's not using Nick Foles at the quarterback position? Is this a situation where he wants a high draft pick and it's to save his butt by utilizing the Matt Ryan has a grade two shoulder separation as an excuse to go with the young inexperienced quarterback, win a lose a bunch of games, get a high draft pick. Do you think this is a move to save his job doing that? Because you could, he's got that as an excuse at this point right now, the Colts are three, three and one, which is right there near the edge with seven teams that can make the playoffs in each conference. Ten wins very easily get you into the playoffs. They need to win seven. Seven of the next ten games. They can't lose more than three games over the next ten, in my opinion, to get into the playoffs. What do you think? Do the Colts make it? Do they have a shot? Or is this the team just trying to tank? I appreciate you. This is Lawrence Owen. This is Colts Law. And as usual, I want you to have a good one. Just because a guy's a player is not a household name, doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.